Then, of course, David Chase calls about a part in a TV show that he was working on over at HBO, to which you said initially, no thanks? <laughs> right. <laughs> what, what changed your mind? Well, you know, I said, I said, man, thank you. It was such a nice compliment, you know. Yeah. Want me a new TV show, but I'm not an actor, you know. I mean, I had, I had uh, fantasized about writing. I, I had written some treatments. Uh, I had fantasized about maybe directing someday because I, I, I do, you know, I was a fan of movies and, you know, but I never thought about acting, never. Yeah. And, uh, and I said, you know, I'd love to do it, man, but I'm just not an actor. And he says, yes, you are. Don't tell me you're not an actor. I know who, who an actor is and who an actor ain't. <laughs> and you're, you're an actor. You just don't know it yet, you know? So I said, you know, and, and to tell you the truth, David, I had nothing better to do, man. I was, I was kind of blackballed from the music business there. I mean, I want to be overly dramatic about it, yeah. but they didn't like that success with Sun City. That was a little bit too scary, you know? You could feed people in Africa, but don't start taking down governments. Okay, because they're thinking we're next. <laughs> you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, I had four deals going and they all disappeared. Uh, so I, I was kind of out there in the wilderness walking my dog. We should say he, to people yeah. that you're talking about, I ain't going to play Sun City back in 84. This is the time when the, the issue of apartheid in South Africa was really coming to the fore. And, and you were in the forefront of that. I mean, that particular song, unlike some of the other... Uh, charity songs of that time. This was hard political, uh, you yeah. know, straight up. It, it yeah, was yeah. not nice. It wasn't a right. a, a, a pleasant song. <laughs> That's right, man. It crossed that line from social concern, you know, to political. You know, I yeah. mean, we we named Ronald Reagan in the song as being part of the problem. You know, yeah. uh, you know, uh, and and. Uh, and, you know, we strategized, you know, how do, how do we bring this government down, man? You know, we got to, they got to go because it's bad. And, and, so, you know, we, and, you know. So you're in The Sopranos. Uh, what impact do you think that had on your career? I mean, you know, there are some people who learned that you were a musician after seeing true. you on The Sopranos. Oh, no, that's true. It, it, it didn't have an impact on my career. It was a whole nother career. You right. know, it was it was a parallel career, which is extremely unusual. And I and I and I keep saying this, not only am I part of the luckiest generation, I'm the luckiest guy in the luckiest generation. Yeah. Okay, because if if an audience, you know, in, in the in the showbiz world, in the bigger showbiz world, if an audience finds you and defines you, you're one of the lucky ones. You're one in a million. Okay, because there's a million other guys out there trying to get found, trying to get discovered trying to get defined you know, by an audience. But once they define you, you know, in many cases, that's it. They, you know, you're lucky. They, they did define you and they're going to stay with you as long as you stay in that definition, as long as you stay in that identity, you know. Um, now, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the true lucky ones that was completely accepted as an actor. I mean, very few musicians are, are, are accepted as in, a, in a different in a, in a different art form, and I and I, I I never saw a negative word about about me as an actor. I, they accepted me immediately. So and I you had a lot of input in into developing Sylvia, no? Well, in a way, uh, yeah, because um, you know, basically, uh, David um, asked me at a certain point, you know, what I want to do, and uh, and I said to him, I said, listen, David, you know, to tell you the truth. I'm feeling a little guilty about taking an actor's job, you know, because they work so hard. And my wife, my wife's a real actor. She, she went, to, I saw her go to classes every day and yeah. work on Broadway and off, off Broadway, you know, and, and here I come, you know, uh, this half a hippie guitar player coming in and going to take somebody's job. And he said, oh, he said, all right, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> you ain't going to take nobody's job. I'm going to write you in a part. Okay. So, so what do you want to do? I said, well, I, I had this treatment of uh, Silvio Dante, you know, independent hitman, and uh, he, ran a, he ran a Copacabana type of club, hmm. and uh, blah, blah, blah. And he comes back you know, a day later and says, well, we can't afford that type of club, but we'll make it a strip club, you know, and, and, you'll, and you'll, run, you'll, run, you'll run the strip club for the family and, and like that, you know. Did you know that during 2020, the most streamed show 
was The Sopranos. I heard that. Yeah, I did hear that. And and, and even Lillehammer got got a whole new a whole new life because uh, you know what people don't realize it was the very first show on Netflix. Yeah. And and and, and you know there was there was no marketing in those days, so people most people missed it. So they they were rediscovering Lillehammer also, but. but uh, that's nice, and, you know. Anyway, anyway so so I, I've been lucky to to have been defined twice and, and had yeah. two successful careers in that sense, you know. Yeah. And, and the and the Many Saints of Newark uh, opens this week. It's a prequel to The Sopranos. Is mm. the Silvio character in there or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Played by John Magaro. John Magaro is just terrific. He he um, uh, I knew him. I've known him now for a while because he starred in David Chase's first movie, uh, Not Fade Away. Uh, he played, uh, well, it was, it was largely an autobiographical story from David Chase because he was in a band when he was a kid. Right. Uh, and, and and John McGarrow played played David Chase, basically. And uh, and he's playing Silvio Dante, and, and he's just terrific. I mean, he's so much fun. And, and I have to urge everybody, you know, and I know we're all out of the habit, you know, we're all used to staying home. But, but I tell you, make an exception for this movie. See it in the theaters because... You're going to be seeing it with a bunch of other Sopranos fanatics, you know, and right. it's, it's just a lot of fun because that calls you know, they, for a, a group viewing. You know what I mean? Yeah, because, you know, there, there's lines that they say that, you know, their counterparts are going to say in, you know, from the TV show, yeah. which is so much fun. And uh and uh, John McGarrow got one of the biggest reactions of the night uh, with that Silvio. And, and, you know, it's just, it's just fun. It, it's something that we owe ourselves to have a little fun. And, and then you can go back to the couch after that. 